Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're live. How is everyone doing? Okay, we are doing a lunch, lunch break live. And let me know where you are connecting to us from. Hello, our first person to comment is present is Chinelo's diary. Chinelo, how are you doing? Thank you so much. And please let me know where you are connecting to us from today. Today, we're going to do something really special. I'm so excited because today, as you guys see from the title of this life, what is the title today? We are chatting with a natural hairstylist, and I'm excited to have her on here. So you guys, you know, be nice, be nice. <laughs> and any questions you have, you can, of course, uh, ask it. Hello, Onika, and all our friends and everybody from Facebook. Now, if you guys are on YouTube, and if you guys are on Facebook, you see what I'm doing? I always bring up my phone at the beginning. Yes, Maria is on Facebook. I always bring up my phone. And as I'm bringing up my phone, I want you guys to go, just like me. I want you to go and share this because we're going to be helping people because that is what we do. If you've not yet subscribed, if you've not yet subscribed, do you know what I want you to do? You guys want to know what I want you to do? I want you to do this. Okay, just subscribe. It's so easy. You don't have to even pay any money. It is free of charge. Okay, so after you subscribe, of course, you know, please don't forget to just drop your comment down below because I like to communicate with you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have um, need one-on-one -on -one help, we have a Facebook group and our Facebook group is called Discovery Natural. You know what? I'm going to show you before we start chatting with our uh, natural hair stylist. You know, I'm just going to show you our Facebook page, um, our YouTube channel. So, this is our YouTube channel. It's so easy to go on there. I'm going to go like, okay, let me do this. So, you just go on there, and the way you just go and subscribe, easy to subscribe. Let me even log in as if I'm not, uh, I'm going to switch this. I'm going to log in as if I'm coming from, you know what? Let me just do this because everybody on my connection is subscribed. So let's let me just let me just show you guys a way to subscribe on our channel. Okay, you click subscribe button. This person is already subscribed, which is me. You click on this subscribe button. It will be right here. If that button is red, you are not my friend. So I need you to click that button, and then um, you can be a subscriber on our page. Now, also, you can also go to our Facebook uh, group. Now, our Facebook group, now if you go to Facebook and you search for Discovery Natural, so you want to go to Facebook, you want to search for Discovery Natural like this and click on Discovery Natural group. This is our Facebook group where you can have questions answered. You can, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, see, that is us chatting right now. You can have friends. You can ask questions. See all these people asking questions. You can show pictures of your hair, pictures of products you use, so many things. So you are not alone. Say what? Say what? You are not alone on this journey. So feel free to go to our Facebook group, Discovery Natural Group, and join us there. It's a wonderful group. So yeah. Okay. So we're talking today. We're going to be talking with a natural style. She's here only for 30 minutes. So you guys, please don't bombard her too much. We're talking specifically about hairstyles. If you have more issues with your scalp, you know, I already brought on here a trichologist and I have that video on our YouTube channel, which you can go and see. So I'll show you how to go to the YouTube channel now. And um, you can go and check it out. Uh, if you want to find out more about the scalp and issues with your scalp and stuff. So let us let me show you what you want to do on that. So let's do that. So I'm just going to Discovery Natural. Okay. So let me show you the screen. Share it out to you all right there. So you want to go to this search for Discovery Natural. And you also want to put uh, in um, Trichologist. Okay. Or Trichology or whatever. It will bring up 
that information you can also so this is the live chat we did and also my salon visit you can also go to our um playlist we do have our playlist on our channel so we have a playlist dedicated to the scalp because i know a lot of you have questions about the scalp so you can go on there and um get that information so just click on discovery natural search for scalp and uh that is how you get it okay so as more people so this is a scalp you da, 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 da. yeah so as more people add on i'm just giving more people enough time to just come on here and add on so we have a good number of people we have about uh 35 people right now which is okay because this will be live for you guys to replay if you are joining us on the replay thank you so much for enduring my pre-information and please once again i would like to tell you guys to not forget to do what subscribe okay so now we are going to bring on our guest and we are going to be asking our guests or oh, not no chatting let's say chatting because when you say asking is like uh, you know might be mini jam question hey you know don't let me sing that song okay so let's bring on our guest and i would like to welcome her on there so let's bring her here hey Hi. how are you doing how are you doing so glad to finally have you on here you're welcome you're welcome me. so we're going I'm to so be before we even start talking can you just tell us your information tell us where we can find you on social media and anything else you feel to share with us okay my name is Funke Davis Adeloye the creative director and the face behind the brand Roots and Looks um based in Edinburgh Scotland to be precise and I have been training my hair natural for well over five years now, and I've been styling people for about five years now. My handles on social media, um, on Instagram at roots at, at roots dot at dot looks, and on YouTube roots at looks. Okay, I think that's about it. Awesome, awesome. So you guys, you see, she's a gorgeous lady. <laughs> This is our Instagram page. So you all go visit it. It's roots.atlooks right there. And um, this is all the information. So you can see all the beautiful styles that she came out. I, I don't even know. She's a genius. I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm going to play this. Yeah, laughing. Hey, I'm going to play. This is our beautiful daughter. And our daughter, I just want to, you know, for me, I want to be your daughter. I really do want to be your daughter, to be honest with you. I want to be your daughter because look at all, you know, look, look at all this gorgeousness. Look at all this. Your daughter is not cute. Hmm. So this is a beautiful style. You can see all the styles. Please go subscribe to our channel on um, YouTube. And you can see other styles that she has done. She also does, you know, like box braids. Very, very clean. I, okay. So a while, uh, this was last week, I put out a video with my daughter and I did those not less braids. Those okay. not less braids, I'm telling you, they are hard, they're easy to do, but my hand, it took a while. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it took a while for my hand to coordinate. So you all can see the beautiful job she's doing. It's amazing. This is another one. She does an amazing trading. So if you guys are in that area where she's located, Edinburgh, UK, check her out. There's so much more information on her channel. I don't even I don't even know how she does some of these styles. I'm like, there's one style I saw that you did. And I was going to ask you, see, you see the way your parts, see how your parts are so clean. Let me go back. Let me go back to that. You know what? Let me go back. Because right. I'm jealous. You see this part? It's so clean. I'm like, how do you do that? But you know what? Let's just, we'll just live through your pictures. And one day when I come and visit, I always tell people, like, one day I will come and visit you. You know, you'll be surprised. So you guys, please connect to her. This is our Instagram. 
roots at look and also she's on youtube so if you go on youtube um so i'm gonna, gonna just go to youtube and i'm gonna show you guys how to find her on youtube so just search for roots dot at dot looks on youtube and do like me subscribe you see how me have subscribe okay please please go support her go subscribe look at all the gorgeous styles she does bridal styles and she does so much more so so much information right here okay so thank you we are going to now switch over we're now going to go and look at questions um people are asking and welcome some people that are coming on here so uh welcome we have a whole bunch of people that have joined us we are so glad uh people join us from all over the world canada new um, new jersey us um a whole bunch of people from nigeria we have people from nigeria we have so many people from all over okay so we do have um we do have some uh, questions. So Victoria, this is a question from Victoria. So Victoria said, I have blown dried, I have blown dried thick natural straight hair and my hair is textured. Okay. So what question do you have for those kind of hair? So let me ask you a question. Um, when people come to you, do you prefer them coming to you as your clients with their hair straightened or their hair stretched or their hair blow dried or you go with any texture? Actually, from my beginning, I've started, I treat um, my clients' hair like I do mine. Like I'm a firm believer of no heat right from my um, younger um, years, if I'll call it that way, of um, returning natural. So I'm a fan of African trading. So even okay. for my bridals, if um, the wedding is on Saturday, I'll tell the bride to like, if it's a place that maybe we can meet, like I'm just meeting my bride on that very day, she's getting wedded. So I'll like okay. this wash and treat your hair and put into threads, like maybe on Thursday. And when it's on that Saturday, I'll take it down myself. So it will be in a stretch from, for me to be able to work on it. So I am I'm, I'm a fan of African trading until I change location. And mm -hmm. I tend to like tilt a little bit into blow drying on a very low heat, but not as frequent. So I, mm -hmm. uh, I will usually advise that African trading, but um, okay. if, you would, if you would love to use heat, it will be on a very low, and it will not be something very frequent. But on the natural, normal basis, I am a firm believer of African trading to stretch hair. Okay, okay, that's good. And I see this is an example. I'm going to show an example right here. What you guys are seeing on the screen, uh, I'm going to show where she wrote it, okay? So it's something that she believes in. So this is African trading for those people that don't know what African trading looks like. So yeah, and we call it Kiko, Kiko, okay? Yeah. So that's your one. She says she doesn't use heat. So you all that are afraid of using heat, you can see that it's okay to use trading method and it stretches out your hair. You see how much it has stretched out her hair. So you can get that blown out look without um hit if that works for you so yeah so that is one thing that i also um i you i i can't remember the last time i used it i'm actually going to get my hair blow dried <laughs> next month and um i've not done it in a long long time so yeah but i'm going to a professional so in my town <laughs> but because i i'm not I, the whole thing about um using heat sometimes makes me nervous and this year 2020 2020 has been weird so why not so i just i started going to a hairstylist and um i i enjoyed my first experience so i signed up for another one okay so yeah okay let's see what other question we had we had a question from stacy gibbs stacy says how do you get your natural to be healthy and for growth and talking from your experience from your own hair so what do you do to your own hair to help it stay healthy okay i i started out with so many things like the average naturalista you know do this do this a lot of um 
you know, um, practice techniques and all of that. But along the line, as I progressed, I started cutting back on certain things and I just streamlined it to some very basic. And I'll be very honest, I don't do much like I do back in the days. Like back in the days, I do all those uh, you, you onion treatments, blah, blah, a lot of things. I know it's also overwhelming. So I've just streamlined my care to be wash, condition, and style. It's as basic as that. And that's what I preach to the average naturalista that comes around me, like wants to make me a uh, hair stylist. Because I, I notice a lot of people uh, that are trying to return natural as it were, they, they see this whole thing like it's too vigorous, too laborious. That's why they will say, I don't know if you've heard statements like, uh, natural hair is not for me. So yes, when they see yes. you prepare, you deep condition, you detangle, when the process is too, they're like, oh no, please, please, please. I, I think I'm just fine. We just put my relaxer cover on. Yeah. You know, the process is very simple with the relaxed hair thing. So I've actually streamlined mine to that. And I think I am not regretting it. But I yeah. will still say I am not pushing this on everyone. I I want to summarize my own journey to be like, you know, like we women when we do exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months. So if you yeah. have the energy, if you have the energy, you can do all of those, you know, pre you know, on uh, when you are just starting out and all of that. I don't want to be very specific on what I'm I've, I've cut back on so that I won't like water down whatever. I, you are okay with it, please just go on. I'm not saying no, but as per yeah. my own thing, I've just streamlined it to wash, condition, and style, and protect, and style. which is all yes, exactly. Protect, so yeah. that's what I do, and I'm fine with that. And yeah. again, for everything uh, that has life, the growth usually starts from within, I mm -hmm. don't joke with water, water intake. It's It's been helping because I yeah. read and I got to know that water gets to our hair as in the last place water gets to is our hair. So I tend to drink up more even when I'm not thirsty. So I preach that water intake is very essential for your growth. So, and I also preach fruits and vegetables. I don't want to reiterate a lot of things you might have known but basically growth starts from within. That's yeah. what's like. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. And I really, really respect that because I always say, you know, what you have to eat is like you eat whatever you eat. Since your hair and your nails and your skin, those, those are the last places that you'll get nutrients. So we have to do even above and beyond in some cases. Yeah. So it might be hard sometimes, but... We have to do what we have to do. Thank you so much. And thank you, mm -hmm. Stacey, for asking that. I want to say a big thank you to the people that have said they've subscribed. Cheryl, um, thank you for mm -hmm. subscribing, for following on IG. And um, also, let me see, Victoria, thank you. So we also have another question. Uh, so Zenovia says, do you treat kids' hair as adults' hair? So when you do your daughter's hair, and um, you also do kids, uh, uh, styling, styling kids' hair. Do you treat them the same way that you treat adults' hair? I, I, if I understand that question very well, I believe adults can like speak up for themselves, if I will use the word. Like they can say where they are maybe hurting and the like. So I would say they are being treated differently. I started training my daughter's hair natural. Initially, um, I wasn't natural when I had her. So I also introduced her into relaxer and all of that, just like I do for me. So I, I would say she was about two years old before I started training her hair. So I treat hers differently from how I treat mine. And I, I think I don't get that question very well. Is it about okay. treatment or styling? I think it's the treat. I think it's like the treatment. Like you know, sometimes uh, like some adults, they'll put, they'll pre put, they'll do this, they'll do that, they'll do that. You know, and uh, you keep it the kids, same. 
It's very, very simple. In fact, you know, simple. kids don't like to be tied too long yes. on a sport. They get so, you know, so if, yeah. if, if you feel like if they can now talk, you can just tell them, okay, we are watching with this, you know, showing them the label. This, yeah. are, If it's very simple, even we adults, we don't like when things are long things. <laughs> so yes, I, yes, I, I, I agree. If that's what you're saying. I do that yeah. uh, differently. Yes, is as basic as mine. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's I mean, kids, they don't like it. And sometimes what I do is that if I find products that are multi-purpose products, like if I find a product that will shampoo, condition everything, when my kids were little, yes. I'll use that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't need anybody I crying. Do I don't need anything stressed. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so thank you, okay. Zenobia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So um, we had, uh, Victoria was saying that her hair is going, she's going natural a bit and she has undergrowth. So I think she's actually um, transitioning. It looks like say, when, usually when I hear people say undergrowth, I'm thinking that they are transitioning. Yeah, I so think I hear, so too. Yeah, I hear that time a lot. So yeah, but um, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know what other questions she has. Victoria is one of our, uh, she's always, I, I really love her support. Thank Thank you so much. She and a whole bunch of people on here. We also had a question from Cheryl. She, she said, do you have a video about how you safe? Okay. She said, do you have a video about you safely blow dry? Well, she doesn't blow dry. She treads her hair. So she says, what do you suggest for very dry, dryness, dry prone hair? hair? So if the hair is very okay. dry, like what do you do for your hair? Because remember, you guys, everybody, you have to see what works for your hair. So from yeah. our experience, what are some suggestions that I believe that you have made is to be drinking water and stuff. But what are some things that you do if you find out that somebody's you are working with your client and their hair is very dry? What do you tell them? I, I think like the first thing I usually ask, even before I style, except the person is so much in the hurry, just style me and go. I like yeah. to ask, just like you started out with me, what is your routine like? Like, let mm -hmm. me just know, are you the fan of um, deep conditioning and all of that? So I will want to check on how that person, just like you have established, how well they drink water and eat yes. vegetables and fruits. I will also want to ask if they tend to deep condition at least, at least once in a month, like, some yeah. found like they believe um, when you say conditioning it has to do with just applying coconut oil and they are going so yeah. when you are that kind of person so i i think the first root cause is that you are not staying hydrated and you are also not um infusing moisture from the outside as it were mm -hmm. so i would like to um advise the person to um that deep conditioning the hair if she is not doing and probably get a good moisturizer if you are not a fan of spritzing every other day like every yeah. day rather so you get a good moisturizer that you can apply maybe after two three days you can reapply and all of that mm -hmm. then again um like i said it's not like i totally out through blow drying i still do mm -hmm. once in a while because when um, I came to this side of the fence, I noticed that my hair underneath, what some call undergrowth, like, tends to be so coily than mm -hmm. when I was in Nigeria. So coily sometimes that when I tread, yeah, it's stretched on the outside. But I have a lot of coils. Like my, <laughs> my strands are really hugging each other. Of being yeah. So the only way I could help Especially, I'm not the combing, combing type. In fact, for clients, I tend to detangle with my fingers, except they are so much, you know. So I am a fan of using my fingers. So uh, when I I got here, I started um, like once in a while blow dry. So, but what I do is I will deep condition the hair first. I will deep condition it first, and while before um, blow drying. I apply generous leave-in conditioner. In fact, I don't do a single deep conditioner, like um, a combo of two particular deep conditioner, then um, oil and um, shea butter before I even apply a little of heat protectant. 
with then I will now blow dry on a very low heat. So I yeah. think the first thing that person needs to check is how well she is drinking water. Like yeah. I said, it's very, very, it's not only for when you are thirsty or when you are eating. Like you yes. just need yes. to drink water. And again, if the person is deep conditioning, if those two are established, I feel then um, if those two are in place and the person is still like um, experiencing that excessive dryness, so I think I want to check on the products the person is using. Maybe the person yes. is protein sensitive and you are using coconut oil and the like. So as good as coconut oil is, it's a no for. I believe she already knows this. Is a no for yeah. people that are protein sensitive. Yeah. So those are the yeah. three things I want to establish. Yeah. I'm so glad because um, you mentioned a whole bunch of stuff that I really am like, yeah, 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 about. Um, the last time when I went to my stylist, she saw my um, scalp and she analyzed my scalp. I don't know if you saw that video. She analyzed my scalp and she saw that the scalp was dry. And um, she was like, your scalp is very dry. When last did you wash? And I know that that week I didn't drink enough water. And my scalp, mm -hmm. it's like the skin. My scalp really showed um, what was going on. That girl, you didn't drink enough water. So I increased my water intake. And I'm noticing, like I always tell my daughter, I'm like, oh, can you come and check my scalp? <laughs> and my daughter's like, oh, mommy, no, I don't want to check your scalp again. I say, am I doing a good job? And my scalp has been doing much better. I've been drinking water. Yeah. Now, this is a bit TMI. And you guys, you know, if you have come to my life, you know, sometimes I can get a little bit TMI-ish. So um, a little bit TMI. If you, this is how I know. This is me, how I know if I'm not getting enough liquid. When I go and do number two, if my number two are not hugging each other, I'm not drinking enough water. I'm not going to make it all explicit here. Yeah, if yeah, your I'm number right. two are on their own, doop, 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 yeah, that means I'm you're not drinking water. <laughs> it's true. I learned that from Oprah. I learned that from Oprah. Yeah. If your number two is smooth and sailing like the letter S, you have enough water. <laughs> so that is true. It's that is it. I was told I was talking to my I was talking to my husband yesterday. I'm like, I'm like, ah, I'm drinking enough water because of course I'm peeing a lot. I'm I'm drinking this bottle drink, and it, and I was like, ah, I know I'm drinking enough water. It's like, ah, shall I you you come again? I say, yes. I said, is this single or they are hugging on each other? <laughs> okay, so let's <laughs> sorry guys. You guys know me. I have to put my own jala in it. So let's move on to the next person. Thank you, uh Cheryl. Okay, the next person, Grace Not says, I'm confused about porosity of my hair. The water doesn't penetrate my hair, it just sits on top, and my hair is always dirty. We can tell. So what say you like porosity? I already I can I know what the answer is, but let me see if you know just, what, I was what about pushing that. I was just about pushing it to you. Pushing <laughs> it to me. Hey, okay, okay. I'm not gonna throw you on that. Okay, okay. If you don't want to answer it, see, this is our agreement. If you don't feel like you know, answer it because I know porosity for some people is very borderline and stuff. Now, my thing is this with porosity. People say, oh, I'm low porosity, I'm high porosity, I'm this porosity. But there are different spectrums of porosity. So you could be low porosity, but your hair could absorb water, but at a slower rate. And you could be low, low, low porosity where the water, unless you massage, 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 keep on pouring the water for so many times, then your cuticles can absorb whatever. So from what I'm seeing from her, without, just from what you explained to me, I will assume that your hair, you say the water does not penetrate. But I feel that, did you just spray the water in there? Or you know how some people can just spray water and they don't do anything. You need to massage the water in. Don't just spray water and let it just sit here. Don't just spray water because I'm telling you, a lot of people, even high porosity, medium porosity, if you spray water, it will just sit there and then eventually it will just go in. So if you are letting your water, just spraying your water and just letting it sit there, you're not massaging it in, you know, massage it in. If your hair is always dirty, look at the products you're using. Some products attract more dirt than other products. So that's what I have to say about that. But People will tell you that, oh, you are low porosity, but you really have to understand how you are applying the product, what you are using, 
Um, and then when you're washing your hair, how are you really washing your hair? You know, so that's that's what I have to say. See, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> but if you have anything to add, don't know. You can know. No, yeah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Um, they said, okay, so someone asked again, does Ruth said looks have a YouTube channel? Hmm. You guys, I showed you already. Yes, yes, yes. She has a YouTube channel. You guys, this is a YouTube channel. We already had, when we started this chat, um, we were at 232, okay? I recorded it down. 232 subscribers. Now we are 235. Three of you have joined, I know. Mm -hmm, because I know my people. So the rest of you just watching and listening, whenever you are finished with this live chat, I want you to go over to our page, okay? Go over to our page, Roots at Looks. That's YouTube. Go to YouTube, search for Roots at Looks. And when you get there, this is the information. See, you have so many videos and stuff. Subscribe because she's bringing out cool stuff. She has awesome, awesome... um styles very nice styles and our channel videos are straightforward and very easy to follow the tutorials i'm gonna be like rocking some of this now <laughs> but you guys check it out when you get a chance okay so um let's go on and let's see the next questions we have here thank you so much c thank you grace nurses i just subscribed to her Yay, thank you so um Joy Banks, hi Joy, said, what products do you use on your clients? Do you use herbs, natural things like, mm, I've not heard this one before, Ambunu or Shibe? I've not heard Ambunu. I don't use all of that. I okay. just use, I don't use herbs. Yeah. Okay. Because so do your yeah. Do your clients there was a time come with their products? No, I have products. I don't just use herbs and all of that, except okay. on requests. But I, okay. I don't have in stock to use on them. Because there was this time as little as aloe vera, you know, the, mm -hmm. the regular aloe yeah. vera plant. Yeah. Yeah. I saw how it was on me. I loved mm -hmm. the, you know, you know, even the tangling and all of that. So there was this client, it's way back, I think like maybe three years. I just applied and immediately that aloe vera touched her scalp. The itchiness was not here. So that's yeah. aloe vera. So let alone, I'm not a fan of all these apps on clients. So I don't, I don't see it. There. Yeah. So that's, I mean, I tell you, aloe vera, as wonderful as it is, um, there are some benefits to it and there's some, uh, danger some things to watch out for so that's why like i have this video here and i talk about the benefits and the danger of aloe vera you know although i have other videos that talk about aloe vera but this video really talks about different things what aloe vera once we get out of the ad what is you know what aloe vera is good for and then um other things of what aloe vera causes, you know, problems and stuff. So that's why each person should be mindful of what they use, understand what they use, you know. And um, yeah, so it's very important. And I'm glad you mentioned that. So we want to say thank you also to Grace Nuts. Grace Nuts, just graceful Nuts, just subscribe to you thank you so much thank you Cheryl. she also subscribed i appreciate you let's see who else okay so we're moving on um Omo Oluwa, brilliant who says please what natural and authentic products can be used to grow out very bad edges okay so that is one <laughs> question a lot of people ask and i know it's different for a lot of people. I see you shaking your head. Exactly. I know. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, we are playing table tennis here. <laughs> okay. I, honestly, just like you've said, like a lot of people and different things, I think our hair, or let me just say, just like normal, uh, we respond to treatment differently. That's the mm -hmm. way. I've seen people that 
you know, we talk about butters not being on scalp. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard about that. I mean, yes, like, I've heard about that. Your pores and, and I've seen people using that on their edges, reg mm -hmm. religious, not just shea butter anyway. It's like spritzing your hair, maybe after mm -hmm. wash or like, and they massage in shea butter and their edges, you know, just mm -hmm. bloomed and came up as if nothing happened. And yeah. I've seen people that use that and nothing happened. I've seen people use castor oil and, mm -hmm. you know, the regular JBCO and like, and I've seen people use just olive oil. So I think uh, to me, with my little experience, it's not just about the product, product. but yes. the practice. The practice. Yes. Your technique, the way you style your hair, if you are doing tight styles all the time, stay away from doing tight styles. I think the tight styles are the number one corporates. Okay. Um, so if you are, even if you are applying the pro, let's say there's a magic product and that magic yeah. product works. Let's say, let's say that magic product works, but you, you are still going and you're still doing very, very tight styles that whenever you rub your head, it breaks, it's not going to show any benefit. So a couple of things that I have, you know, I have, I mean, you've mentioned cast, Jamaican bear castor oil. Um, also, I've used the Bautin serum and I found okay. that those also work for me, for my hair. And, um, but I don't do tight styles, <laughs> you know? So yeah. I know, like when I went to my stylist, she was able to, check the thickness and check the you know the thinning of my hair she used this machine to check it and she could go into my scalp and see stuff i'm like ah god don't look at my brain no because my brain sometimes is empty sometimes it's full <laughs> so but anyway so she was able to do that and she told me that my edges area is is very is thinning because but it's normal because of my genetics so oh, that's right. one thing, but thank you, Omo Oba Oluwa. Oh, I love that name. Too bad I'm not having another kid. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so thank you for asking that question. We also had a quick question from, and uh, we're going to be wrapping up soon, but we also have a question from Anastasia. Is, is deep conditioning and air treatment mask the same? You know, they have names of, pro I think it's the naming... I think it's a marketing scheme. Yeah. Yeah, I found it confusing initially as well. But I think most masks just stay for like 10, 15 minutes. It's usually specified on the container. That's why it's good to read labels. Some will yeah. just like, okay, um, 10, 15 minutes. But like the name deep, <laughs> I yeah. think on the average 30 or 45 minutes or some an hour. So just go yes. by your label because I can't speak for all depending on the products you are using. So I, yeah. I think it's, they are almost the same. That's the way I see. But they 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 offer the same um, benefits as it yeah. were. And I agree that you should always, always, always go by the label. And if you are doing, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like, you know, a lot of people do DIY. If you do DIY, I always DIY. say like 30 minutes. Scientifically, I feel like they said scientifically it takes about 30 minutes for things to really penetrate and do all that stuff, you know, but it's your, I mean, I just, I, I don't do too many DIYs when it comes to deep conditioning lately yeah. um, because yeah. I'm busy <laughs> and um, yeah, but thank you so much Anastasia, for asking that. We had a question from yeah, who yeah, done. I want to add yeah. on that, like um, on the deep conditioning parts, if she knows what, her, as in how her hair, you know, some just go with the body heat and mm -hmm. it, they are fine. And some need to infuse with heat, as it's where maybe a heating cap or the like. So it won't be like um, you just apply the product and you wash it away without it doing anything. So um, you may need to, if you are the type that will either warm up your deep conditioner, air mask or whatever you are using, or you actually um, use a heating cap when you apply it on. No, just to like reinforce whatever it should do to your hair. 
Yeah. 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 That's a good point. Somebody else was asking, I've not pop up. Well, let me quickly pop up. Then we'll come to this question. Somebody was asking, I do suggest deep conditioning, like for your kid, your daughter, do you deep condition her hair every week? I don't. Okay. So that yeah. you guys hear it. I do my kids. I deep condition. Well, they do it themselves twice a twice month. Twice a month. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. I don't do every week. Yeah, we do twice in the month because you know we keep styles for two weeks for my for my daughter. Yeah, except, that's it. That's yeah, except right now in your so life. For every dad, time okay. you take the hair to wash, yeah, that's when I also deep condition. So I will yeah. do style that will last like two weeks. So for every time I take it down, I will wash and deep condition. So I don't okay. deep condition every week. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You see, you're doing good. Hey, see, my people are really gentle. They're being nice to you. Hmm. These ones, if it's just me now, they'll be just train, train question. You guys, you guys, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. So let's go down to um this question by hold down. <laughs> How to keep knots from forming at the ends. So when you braid, you know, sometimes when you are twisting your client's hair or your daughter's hair or your own hair, if you see a knot, what usually causes that? You know those knots, the single strand knots? Are there things you do to prevent those? I will say um, if you have tight coils, like the real 4C, if, um, I don't know, I don't want us to go into all of that. Like, I mean, very tight coils. <laughs> you already know what I mean. So the tight coils. So I think it's usually inevitable. And so, um, because while you have it on, wait, are you talking about the one with your hair only now or with extensions? No, it's with when the hair only. The hair. So if it's with the hair only, you know, we tend to strip the hair while we have it on and that will further reinforce how naughty it will go. Like, I mean the knot now. So mm -hmm. I am um, the best way to at least curb it. We can't eradicate totally is yeah. like um you know just like when you have your hair in a loose state like this like at night except because mine is in a um, inverted bun if it's a puff the tip i will like maybe braid it into some chunky twist mm -hmm. like that to yeah. keep the knot away so for when you have twists on one way to keep it to check is to just uh, maybe put them in chunks and yeah like this spread. Yeah, it's like, like what you just did now. So yeah. that's the only way because it can be eradicated when you have very tight coils because yeah. you keep spritzing to keep it moisturized. You want it moisturized, not to be dry. So you can't eat your cake and have it. <laughs> that's just it. So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That uh, that's a good, bad. good response. That's a very good response. So um, uh, Sandy from our Facebook page, and she's also on our Facebook group. Thank you, Sandy. She says she has a daughter, and she said her daughter's hair itches. So her daughter's scalp itches. And she uses apple cider vinegar. I don't know if you all know about apple cider vinegar. You know, though the yeah. doctor said that it's... Okay, so Sandy, I think your question is more for a trichologist in this case. Um, so because it's like scalp-related, right? Yeah, so she said I'm thinking about seeing a doctor already. Yeah, I, I would rather, and especially when it comes to someone I can't see one on one, you can't see, I'm yes. always as careful on what I suggest. So, yes. I would rather, especially when it has to do with a kid now, mm -hmm. it's good, like you have suggested, like she should see a trichologist. I yeah. wouldn't want to, yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree because it could be many things. The scalp, like the skin, it could be an allergy reaction to a product being used. It could be um, eczema. It could be different skin um, situation conditions. So you using apple cider vinegar could actually aggravate it more. So it's best to go and see a trichologist. They're different from the pediatric doctors that you see yeah, no, so please like i'm telling you so many times my kids pediatric doctor i've said she has this she has that she's like oh it's fine and i'm like mm. so, <laughs> okay so, okay so let's say okay this one this question also is from sandy what's the best you know what when you say what's the best deep conditioner for kids natural hair? 
there's no best. <laughs> it's like saying what's the best food for you to eat. They're different, different types. So that's how I say it, Sha. That's how I say it. But um, yeah, Thank so you. we're getting towards the end. We're gonna do a little shout out again for those people that have subscribed. Thank you, Victoria, for just subscribing. Thank you, Zinovia. Uh, Am thank I saying it right? For subscribing. Um, thank you so much. Uh, if you guys subscribe, please comment. Let me know so that we can shout you out. <laughs> this next question, I don't even know. Should I put it on the screen? Let's put it on the screen because I'm going to not let you. You don't even have to answer this one. Okay, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> let me take it. I want to take this one. Okay, so... Chulu Machu says, hello, I've heard Monistat, you know, the cream that we put down there, you know, helps grow hair. Is it true? Would you recommend it? I've not used it before for my hair, so I cannot say anything about it. I would say do your research. This is something about myself. You know me, if you've been following me, if you are subscribed to our channel, if you've been following me, you know that if I try something, I'll say, oh, I've used it and this is how it affected me. So until, and I'm not going to recommend something for you to try that I've not tried, okay? So if you want to put the JJ cream down there, do it, put it down there where it's meant to be put. Now, if on the cream, they now say, Oh, you can apply this as a scalp thing. Then the pro uh, the developer, or I say developer, the <laughs> producer, so, yeah, okay. you know, <laughs> uh, the manufacturer has approved you to put it all up here. Okay, so okay. be careful what you put down there. Even though you have hair down there, <laughs> you are not creaming down there. We are creaming <laughs> up here. Okay, you guys, you know me. I say it as it is. So. If I do ever use it, you know, I'm still young. I'm still young. I'm forever young. If I still use it, if I'm going to use it. I will use it and I will post it for you. And I'll tell you that it grew my hair down to my toes. <laughs> so okay. that is our, <laughs> that is our thing about that. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah. Somebody asked about what's the best deep, uh, deep conditioner for kids here again. Okay. Um, Let's see. I'm going to let me let me put this question and I'm going to take this question. It says the second question is from my, ah, I like this name. Let me say the name again. Omo Oba Uluwa. You guys, let me translate that name and let me tell you why I love that name that much. Let me translate. This is a Yoruba person. The name says Omo Oba Uluwa. It means the child of the child of the king, God, God king, the Lord king, you know, Omo, the child, Oba, king, Oluwa, God. That's why I like that name. That name is a powerful name, oh, so you better be, mm. yeah. don't do anything that way, <laughs> stand for that name. Because when people, when people have strong names like that, I'm always afraid because everybody will look at you, make sure you don't make a mistake. Because once you make a mistake, like, ah, you, Omo, Oba, Oluwa, <laughs> you know. So the second question was, is how can one take out natural thin twist after a period of one month without losing hair? It is impossible. Abby, my sister, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, but you can just reduce it. You can like, reduce. To the barest. Yeah, and that's, I usually advise not taking down your hair dry. I think that's yes. basic, whether your hair is thick or thin. You don't, you don't, if you are not a fan of like people and all, even if it's mm. to just um, spritz as you take down, like spritz yeah. with just water, it's like loosening up the grip. Yeah. The grip of the hair. So then you take, but you can't totally eradicate it, especially, you said, for a month. You must have been uh, spritzing your hair. Yeah. You must have been so, spritzing, whether your hair is thick or thin. What I said, so they are hugging, yeah. They yeah. are hugging each other. Yes. So then you will also not want to take it down on a day that you are not patient. <laughs> like you have something like otherwise half of your hair will go with it. So exactly. you have to choose a day you want to take it down that you are not so much in a hurry. So you'll be like gentle taking it down. 
That's yes, what I would yes. Say. I, I agree with I agree with that. Thank you so much. And um, we had Abidemi Adenusi says, "How can I pick the edges of my key?" Okay, you want to pick? I don't understand. Is are you trying to? I don't understand. Pick? You mean like comb them or something? I uh, personally, I personally don't understand. Um, yeah, I don't understand. And Victoria was saying she has a lot of edge hair. Is it regrowing? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they mean regrowing. I don't know. We have um ten more minutes. We're wrapping this up. Um, I want to also say thank you so much for better or worse. Can work. Can work. Thank you for subscribing. Let me see what's I subscribe. We're gonna be we're closing down the question right now. Um, we are not doing any more questions. And you guys, I just want you guys to know that um she is available. She has a YouTube channel, Roots at Looks. She's also on Instagram. And I want to say a big thank you so much to our guests. I really appreciate you. I hope you had a wonderful okay. time. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> and you. I hope you come back again. Hey, next time you come back, I will. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll do a mommy, daughter, daughter, you know. <laughs> we'll see. You know, she, was actually, she was actually asking me, um, was it yesterday that I was telling her that um, I should have a life after you're picking you up because they resumed back after COVID today. Oh, okay, so, wow. um, yeah. So I was like, she said, I said, I will need to rush off things because I have a life. She said, Mom, the last time you had life, I was with you. I said, No, this is not mine, please. This is not. <laughs> she actually wanted to join them. So she like, wants to oh, come no. on live. Oh, yeah. you know what? Maybe next. Do one day. <laughs> I think I think this is yeah. it. We're gonna I'm gonna see one day. Maybe you can I'll make you come live and just do our hair. And we'll do a maybe oh. we should do a collab. Eh? We should do a collab, like a YouTube collab. Oh, I think the one you saw, the one you saw. The one you saw, um, the, the yeah. one you saw on IG, I should yes. post it. Maybe this is to seven. I should post the how I made it today. I will yes. try to post it. So I uh, will yes. do something like that. Like awesome, I mean, awesome. I'd like yeah. to do that. We'll talk. We'll talk. Right. Thank you so much. We're gonna say bye, All you right. guys. Thank you so much. We're gonna say bye to our stylist, and then I will wrap yeah. this up. I will also answer any other question that anybody has. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, muted our guests, and our guests can keep on watching and you guys i just want to say a big thank you thank you thank you so much and i just want to remind you that if you've not yet subscribed so please do go subscribe to our channel we really really appreciate you um i'm gonna just look and see if there's any other questions anybody asked um somebody abidemi said um what i mean is that no matter how i do our hair our hedges is always rough so what you are talking about is how to lay down your kids head with children it is so hard to lay down their head um you can when you style the hair you can be very gentle i have different styles that i do if you go to our channel um i'm going to go to um uh, let's say back to school. I have a whole bunch of videos for back to school. Uh, so you can go to the back to school playlist. And when you go to the back to school, you see a lot of different styles. But there's also one style that I want to show you. So freeze. If you search for discover natural freeze. Here, you can see how the head, hair looks very laid. So let's get through this um, this commercial and I'll show you what I mean by that uh let me go here okay and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that so here we go okay so you notice how the hair is neat and laid and everything so there's different things that i do first of all uh we're gonna go back to the edges what i do for the hair that you can also try is that I make sure the hair is well moisturized and the edges, you can add a little bit of gel, just a little bit. You don't have to add too much gel. Just add a little bit of gel to the edges. And then 
what another thing that you can do is that you can um at night you can tie down a scarf now it depends if the child is very young i'm telling you don't even worry when you want to go out just brush the hair and just let it be sometimes you cannot get away from the hair being rough i'm telling you i know and then maybe when you do styles one thing I used to do when my kids were little. Oh, thank you so much, Sherelle. A big shout out to Sherelle. Thank you so much for the $19.99, $20 wrap up, round up. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. So what I'm going to do, um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So what you can do is also when you do styles, sometimes when, when my kids were younger, what I'll do is that I will do a style that I'll braid our hair on the edges very gently i'll braid our hair on the edges and i'll just let that be you know and that will minimize it getting rough so uh but most of the time it's very hard to get rid of okay so victoria was saying it's hard to lay my edges because i have thick um edges and that's the thing so if you have thick edges uh maybe you have not found the best edge tamer but I would suggest just doing styles that you don't have to have your edges out. Even if you're going to do a puff, what some people do is that they'll do a twist. They can do twist or a style, simple style. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a video just showing you what I mean. And that might help you. So, um, and I do know you say you're a child and it's only your baby hair that gets laid. Yeah. So the baby hair can get laid, but the thickness of this, even look at, even me, um, I have very thin edges. My edges are very thin. So whenever, I, that's why I'm wearing this headband. You see this headband? So if I didn't have this headband on, you see the hair? You see this? It's going to be rough. So when I put in the headband, sometimes what I do is, let me see if I can show you. So what I do is I take the headband sometimes and I'll just take the headband and I'll just do this. And you see, just smoothing it a little bit. And the way I style my hair is very different. So this hairstyle, it's just my hair. I can show you how I did this hairstyle. So this hairstyle, I just twisted up my hair. So this is my hair, just twisted up. And I twisted it up. And all I did was I just went like that. And I just twisted it up. Even the ends, I didn't, I need to re-moisturize it. So I just went like this. And because I'm protecting my ends, I just went like that. And I just took my bobby pin. And I just clipped it like this. And that's my style. And you guys will know. And I just put a headband. And there's something I always have different. That's why I have different colored of headbands because it just makes it look good. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much, everyone that came on. Thank you again, Cheryl, for that super chat. I really appreciate it. It's ups support this channel. Um, if you guys are on Facebook and you want to give um stars, you can also donate stars on facebook that's the way we support also i appreciate you guys and we will see you in another video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click the follow to follow us thank you bye